Hello everyone and uh, happy Black Friday. I think um, today is uh, the day after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving, um, that you ate a lot, that uh, you you know had some great time with uh, family and friends. Um, again, my name is Stephen Kim of Healthy Expressions. I'm a relationship marriage coach slash counselor. Um, I'm here every Friday uh, from you know noon to one uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so I'm going to do this every Friday and just to um, answer some questions, just to help some people with their relationship or marriage issues. Um, and I think I said it last week that usually, you know, a, a, an answer to a question uh, it doesn't solve the full issue. It just um, helps, um, you know, for a little bit, give you direction and guidance. Um, and, and so uh, what's been interesting is um, I think the last week or so I've been getting uh, a lot of um, feedback from people, which is great. Uh, and they are uh, asking about uh, certain things, um, questions that they have, and What's interesting about these questions are that um, they most of the, the, the questions or the, the dialogue that's been going on is that a lot of them um, used to be in a relationship, uh, maybe used to be in a marriage, and they're not anymore. And what I'm noticing in a lot of these uh, individuals is that they regret that. They regret... Uh, making the mistakes, regret not reconciling, regret not being able to, you know, really uh, get their relationship back in order and that their only option was to give up, to go their separate ways. And, uh, you know, I've read a lot of these, you know, going back and doing this, uh, I guess, Facebook Messenger, and a lot of them have, you know, been apart for years and it's still affecting them. You know, imagine if you were married with, married with someone and the relationship, the marriage ended. You feel like I'm finally free, everything is good, I can do my own thing. Uh, but the point is, uh, it will affect you for the majority or the rest of your life. When, when you're in a, a deep, meaningful relationship with someone, it does impact you. Of course it does. You're intertwining your life with somebody else. And if it's been a year or a couple of years or more than a few years, you've kind of embedded yourself into that other person and likewise. And so when you break up or you get a divorce, you're not going to be the same. It's hard to, um, you know, go back, you know, smiley and normal and everything. It's like this. It's like uh, having Play-Doh. When my kids were little, I gave them, we bought them Play-Doh and they come in different colors. And, and for instance, what if I gave you a red Play-Doh and a blue Play-Doh and you, and, and you start playing with them and you, you know, mash them up and it would become this, this different color and stuff like that. But what if I asked you, okay, I want you to separate it. I want you to have uh, one side purely red and, and the other hand I want purely blue. It doesn't happen. You can't let it happen like that. It, 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 it'll be so intertwined and mixed up. You cannot get the full red, full blue. The same when in a committed relationship or marriage, you cannot, you cannot um, go back to normal. You'll, of course you'll feel like I'm free and I can do what I want. But the reality is um, you won't be the same and it will take a long time to kind of readjust yourself uh, because a lot of times that the emotional hurt, it's deep, right? And, you know, my, you know, talking with those individuals, my thing was then, you know, can you, do you still talk to them? Are you still in somewhat contact? Maybe we could do something, but uh, they said no. And what it's really been, it dawned on me is that not only it's affected them, 
but it's hard for them to move on. It really is. And, and so I think if you're watching this, living together, married, and you see that there are some major issues in your relationship or marriage, you have time now to fix it. You do. You have this time to fix it. And if you don't, let me get the lighting perfect because I want you to see my handsome face. Um, if you have time to fix the issues in your marriage, in your relationship, do it now. Do it now. And again, I, I tell this to all couples is that there's only one thing you can control. That's yourself. You can't control the other person. You can't control what they say or how they react. You can control yourself. And so I'm telling you is that if there are issues in your relationship or marriage, you have an opportunity to fix it, at least half of it, by working on yourself, getting rid of bad habits, replacing them with healthy habits. And a lot of people don't know what to, or how to change, or they, you know, they don't know where to start. That's where I come in. That's where I can come in and not only give accountability, but give helpful tools and guidance for yourself and for your relationship and marriage. And so, you know, my challenge for you is if you value that other person in your life, if you don't want to lose them, if you want to keep them for the rest of your life, then you have to do something radical. You have to get out of your comfortable zones and you have to do something that you usually don't do. You have to break that cycle of doing the same things over and over again. That's the definition of insanity doing the same things over and over again, but expecting different results. So if you're not a talker, you have to be a talker. If, if you are very emotional, you need to be able to, to do the opposite, control your emotions. If you tend to shut down, you need to kind of uh, be challenged to not to shut down, but to communicate with the other person. And so this is my thing for you is if you value the other person, value the relationship, value the marriage, you got to do something about it. If you don't, then it's going to go in a direction that's unhealthy. Now, that doesn't mean that necessarily that you guys are going to break up or go your separate ways. You can be together, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be a healthy and happy and joyful relationship or marriage that you're in. So this is why I'm asking and challenging you. Divorce is 50%, right? Close to 50%. And on top of that, the pandemic last year. I have been married for 23 years. We fought the most last year combined more than we did five years previous year, or previously to that. It's because we're around each other, because we got on each other's nerves. And if we didn't build a foundation of healthy habits, I don't know where it would have turned to. That's why a lot of couples today in their relationship and marriage, it's strained because of COVID and also them not willing to do anything about it. They've tried their own ways, but it's not working. So I'm asking you that you guys, whoever's watching this in the future, um, that you will do something about it before it's too late. Because I can tell you over and over again, uh, people have complained, uh, they're, they're saddened, they're depressed, because they're not with the person that they would want to be with. And so be more proactive in, um, you know, getting help, um, really changing some things about 
uh, your relationship. Um, if you don't, you are going to be in a world of hurt. It's going to hurt. And, you know, you know, when you break a bone at, or you're, you know, you, you stub your toe, eventually it gets healed. You know, and when you get, when you break up and you get into arguments, you hurt emotionally. It, I think in a way it hurts more. And so I am really trying to um, warn you guys before it get, gets to that bad situation, that bad place, please, even if it's not me, find a relationship marriage counselor. Be with, get help to fix that situation. You know, with, uh, with, you know, with a car, you know, we've been having issues with our, you know, car, it's, you know, it's 17 years old. If, if you don't take care of your car now in terms of getting, you know, the oil change, getting the right gas, you know, making sure that your car is, is you know, um, running well, you're going to have problems later on. The reason why we, our car that we have is 17 years old is, is we've taken care of it over the years. We were diligent. We were proactive in making sure that it would last a long time, just like physically, eating the right food, getting the right enough sleep, taking vitamins, exercising, uh, uh, you know, reading, you know, stimulating your mind, doing all these things. You have to be proactive to keep your body to last for 70, 80, 90 years. That's what you have to do. You have to be proactive. And so um, I, I implore you, you have to do more of these things to better yourself mentally, emotionally for yourself, but also for your relationship and marriage. So I wanted to drop that, um, you know, advice. Um, you know, last week I had somebody, a couple people watch online. They gave questions, um, I guess, because it's uh, Black Friday and people are shopping or maybe sleeping in and stuff like this. I, I understand. <clears throat> but I just wanted to say those, a few of those things. Um, and again, I'm here uh, for you, you know, my, my number, my email, my website is on there. Uh, it's healthyexpressions.online. Check it out. It has all my information. It has a free helpful webinar. Um, and if, you know, you would like to contact me, please, um, my email, my number is there. Uh, I would love to, you know, get started and start the process of getting a healthy relationship, healthy marriage started in your life. Um, but again, you know, it is a good Friday. Uh, I hope that you enjoy today with family and friends. If you, if you are um, crazy enough to go to the mall and go to the stores and shop, that's, you know, all the power to you. But I decided a long time ago, I, I don't want to do that. I, want, I don't want to uh, go into uh, a crowded parking lot, crowded people. Um, it's easier now, you know, at your home. Uh, shop online, click, 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 and it, it's sent to you. So um, I just want you to have a great weekend. I will be on next Friday. Hopefully we have a couple people and they'll have some questions and and and, and we'll go from there. And again, it, you don't have to send your questions live. Sometimes if, you know, some people check this out, they're like, wow, I like this. And uh, put your questions on the, on the comment section and I will read them and I will answer them the following week. So again, uh, have a great uh, weekend. Good Black Friday. I'll talk to you again later. Bye now.